going on, you got like what you got to the chance with Big Dog back with another one take review. And today, I got one for Lovecraft kind of episode five. Because y'all gonna have to make this make sense eventually to your boy. Because at this point now, I'm just along for the ride. And, and I don't even know where to get off it. I ain't I'm just thinking of so much stuff that happened in this episode. Not too much really happened between Letty and, and Atticus. Because they they had sex and that was just about it. Okay, they just had like a steam and you know what I'm saying. We got to see more of uh, Journey Smollett. Yeah, man, she was the woman fine. Okay, that's not like act like we all was thinking it. You know what I'm saying? You, you know, you know. But uh, that's not the only uh sex scene they had. Um, we found out that Montrose is gay. I think we kind of already knew that though, and and um. Yeah, that happened. Biggest story of this episode, though, was pretty much like Vuby getting put into waking up in like a white woman's body. She not knowing what the hell was going on. <laughs> well, Ruby, <laughs> welcome to how we feel, baby. Because <laughs> we didn't know what the hell was going on. William pretty much turned her into a white woman. Gave her the capability to be a white woman for a day so she get to see how white people live. And by the end of the day, she basically Cinderella with... with, with you know, without the pumpkin and stuff, but she actually turns back into just her normal self, you know? Um, she just, and it, it's something that she had wanted to be like, hey, I, um, as a black woman, I, I can't get to, like, you know what I'm saying, certain opportunities, and, you know, I can't just go to certain places, like, you know, people in the street, man. She said when she was a white woman distressed in the street, people weren't afraid of her, people were afraid for her, they were more concerned about her well-being because, like, she was white. And you're like, okay, cool, 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 cool. But uh, this it gets even crazier, people. When she starts peeling out the skin and stuff like that, every now and then you just like, okay. And how all her biggest thing like, ooh, I want to work in this department, though. You know what? Because you know what? I'm not gonna even talk about Lydia for that because there was a point of time in my life where I just wanted to work at a flight club. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't really know what the hell I want to do. I just want to work at a flight club for the rest of my damn life. Wow, 2015 seems like so long ago, <laughs> bro. But um, that was she. She got opportunity. She got to see. She was able to actually mistreat white. I mean, black people or the the black uh, clerk. You know, then she got to see what white people were saying behind them. She got to see what white people do in their spare time when she's like. But that wasn't as. The white lady, she was herself when she, you know, or William asked, like, hey, I need you to plant this because, like, William is dead. You know what I'm saying? The William got shot and so on and so forth. And, and, and like, we have to frame the sheriff, you know, to, to get some revenge on him. She's in a closet with some dude chained up and tied. We also see the sheriff, like, he got half of his body cut off it and, 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 and put replace with somebody else's I, I, listen bro i don't know what the hell is happening okay it doesn't make any sense to me why does this man not have on his own skin under what does that even do for somebody okay the other guy like his head is he trying to talk with uh, shit you know but listen no no it doesn't get crazy there because listen they had a lot of butt action going on in this episode and so basically Fucking A, bro. It, it's just so wild. You really think about it. Because, like, William tells Ruben, hey, you can do... you. I, I didn't put you in that skin to, like, change who you are. I get it, put you in it so you can, like, you know, do certain things that you weren't able to to do before, like getting open certain doors, you know what I'm saying? And so we've seen what, the night before the, the owner of the, uh, the, the store or, like, the head manager or whatever, he, he like was trying to like basically t get some ass from a black girl, the, the the black clerk that worked at the store and like she bit him, you know, and like he was just weird. And, and Ruby saw that and was just like, okay, I'm gonna have to get this some bitch back. You know what I'm saying? Cause you can't just do shit like this to people. Also the dude was like, just let me smell it. <laughs> What's it man? I don't even want to taste it. Let me, let me get, let me get a sniff, <laughs> bro. What the fuck? Listen, so she seduces him. Ruby seduces him as a white woman. Like she puts the stuff around his neck. She, he sucks the heel. I, what? 
why the fuck is you sucking the heel, bro? She, mm, she puts the belt around his neck and ties his hands together. Dude, what kind of fucking kinky shit did you think was finna go down? You just supposed to hit that ass and just dip. Now he trying to do too much. But if he would start hitting that ass and she would have started peeling. Oh! Much more in this. Okay. It's, it's just weird, okay? And it gets even weirder because she starts raping this motherfucker with a stiletto. But there was so much butt activity going on in this episode, okay? Because she was. That shit reminded me of some, uh, what's the fuck, um, uh, 13 Reasons Why the Broom Scene, you know? so I'm just like, you gotta kill a motherfucker after some shit like that. Uh, you, I mean, there's no going back. Like, you have to kill them. Like, if you're not ready to kill somebody after they do something like that to you, then I, I, I don't respect you. I'm sorry, I don't. But, uh, nonetheless... She does, and then she stands over. I just want you to know there was a nigga bitch who did. Did, he, did she? Did she say nigga bitch? I really feel like she said nigga bitch who, who did this to you. She might have done, but I know she said nigga something. And I'm almost positive it was nigga bitch. None. The <laughs> episode continues. It gets even crazier because she walks in and she's like, "Who are you? Because what are, what are, what are you and uh uh." uh uh, Christina doing down there in that room all the time because it's always locked and y'all never come out, you know. So it's like, okay. So then we start seeing something happening to William. I'm thinking, I'm like, oh, oh, William just gonna turn out to be a black guy who just parades around as being a white, white dude. Nope. <laughs> there is no William, there is only Christina. <laughs> Boy, they is taking transgender shit to the next level. <laughs> I hope people find that joke funny and not offensive because I think it's very funny. I, 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 my bad. Uh, so, it's, it's weird when you think about it. It's like, wow, so Christina really, really bangs out on Ruby. <laughs> <laughs> she really used this. this is it? I don't even know what you classify that as. There's no word for what they. It's... <laughs> Bro, Lovecraft kind of country. I don't know why I always call it kind of. I, I noticed that. I always call it kind of instead of country. I don't know what the hell they got going, bro. And I don't even know where we going at this point. Because it seemed like this episode was just kind of like a. I don't know. I didn't. It, it didn't really like mesh with like the, the the big overall thing. Oh, you had the one scene where like um, Atticus ends up telling like later like yo my dad didn't like let her go free. He ended up killing her or whatever. You know what I'm saying? And that was actually a good scene when she was like, uh, and he when they were talking about. It's what you do with the information you got. You know what I'm saying? It's, it, it's, it's not the information that's bad. It's what you do with it. You know what I'm saying? And how you protect your people. And then she's like, well, your daddy was trying to protect you. It's like, damn. you kind of right. You, it's like, you might want to do good, but some things to do good are going to like be bad. To do good things, sometimes you have to do bad things. I guess that, that would be the same. Cause I kind of started fumbling on my words just then, but I think that's kind of pretty much what it, what it was like uh, symbolized. Cause he beat the shit out of his dad. He beat because like yeah, you like dude, you fucking killed this woman. You know what I'm saying for like I don't. Yeah, I probably want to stop beating my dad. I, I got father issues though. <laughs> but uh, you guys let me know what y'all thought about this episode. Cause it was crazy. It was some crazy shit, bro. Uh, what was your, the craziest part of this episode? If you let me know down in the comments. Hit that like button, subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching the video. Hope you guys are staying safe out there. I will catch up with you guys later. Peace.